you first time voters could make a big difference tonight. WBZ's Lisa Greshi spoke to some of them today, including a voter who's had the right to vote for years but never felt compelled until now. Lisa joins us live in Somerville. Lisa? Lisa, younger voters have been calling the Secretary of State's office all afternoon asking for information. That turnout, some of which you can see behind me, was certainly felt today here at the Somerville High School. This is Douglas Perez, and today he voted for the very first time. And I like slowly realized, I'm like, wow, this is actually really something I need to do and get done. He wasn't alone. You know, you turn 18, you come and do the vote. So your voice is heard. I was born in 2000. Shane Lehman just turned 18 years old. Right now, there's a lot of right uh, issues about human rights and people's rights. So voting right now is not just voting about policy and economics, but it's voting to help actual people. Lehman is part of the student council at Somerville High School. He says there has been a huge push to get students to register to vote. Others felt it was necessary because of something else. I want to see change, so I thought today would be a good day, especially since there's so much like push, especially like on social media, um, for people to go to vote. Well, Katya Zinn simply has faith each vote matters. Because in spite of everything that's gone on in this country for the last year, I still have hope that um, there are people who are running for office that care about other people. Many happy to hear younger people are showing up. The younger generation needs to step up to the plate. And if they don't, they can't fuss. One man cast his first vote at 58 years old. This is my first time because I think now is very important. Everyone understanding a vote now could change what's to come. It makes me feel good that, you know, my generation is putting in an effort to vote. The polls here at this location close at 8 o'clock, and those helping to run this location hope they continue to see some familiar faces. Students coming out to vote tonight. Reporting live here in Somerville, Lisa Greshi, WBC News. Lisa, thank you. The